Well howdy folks, uh, do you want to learn how to set up a tent? I think today's the day I'm going to show you. Well, let's head outside and get this tent set up. First, if you live in Montana, you're going to want to put on your hiking boots. Alright, got that one on. These work pretty good for uh, basically climbing big mountains and walking up Mount Everest and then head outside. We'll pick up this tent stake we forgot. Alright, let's, let's get this thing outside. That's for sure. Alright, let's set up this tent. Step one, uh, this is the Gossamer Gear, the one tent. It's uh, called the one because it's pretty creative to tell you that it's for one person. You need a few stakes. So we got, we got five, I think we need six, but that's okay. Step one, you throw it all in the, in the snow. Step two, you realize that your tent's inside out. You do a little swoop, switch it all around, and then I like to lay it out flat. I wonder what the neighbors think of me. So here's the, the Gossamer gear, the one. You can see this this side down here, it's, uh, it's the bottom. You just lay it out kind of like that. I like to stake all the corners, so... Well, the ground's frozen, so we'll just pretend I'm staking it. And uh, here come some neighbors. We'll see what they think of me. And uh, we're going to stake this corner next. And shove that in there. Man, I'm quite an influencer. That's for darn sure. So I like to stake all four corners. I've actually used this tent for about ooh, almost 10,000 miles. I might have used this tent more than anybody. Took it on the whole Great Western Loop. Neighbors are coming. And stake this one right in here. Got all four corners. Wonder what those dogs think of me. All right, well, I managed to throw the stakes in the snow so my hands are freezing. And these are the Gossamer Gear trekking poles. They uh, work seamlessly to set up this tent. So I first staked out all the corners. Now uh, there's this little slot right here where the top of the pole can go. And then there's a little, a little loop down here where you can shove it in there all right we got one pole so i like to use uh, just six stakes on this tent because anymore it kind of feels like carrying too many tent stakes so we'll shove that into the snowy frozen ground good thing i got my hiking boots on okay get that real nice in there and then you lengthen this I'd tell you how much to lengthen them, but it's really all personal preference. Man, this thing is, my hands are cold. I'll tell you what, it is cold out here in Montana. Good thing I got my hiking boots. Keeps my foot seas a little bit warmer. Well, can't really uh, extend this thing, mostly because my hands are too cold. So when your hands get cold, you just use your teeth a little bit. That's what I was told in the boondocks. So we'll shove that one in there. Take this on over to the other side. And uh, here I'll repeat what I was saying. There's these little notches right here. and You can kind of see it's the shape of the top of the pole. You shove it in there. And then you bring it in and there's these little little rings here you can see them that's where the bottom of your pole goes you 
made this one a little long, but it'll work. Then you pull it taut. I like to leave everything pretty loose, all the guy lines. Then you tighten it up. So you just shove that stake in there. There's your tent. You can kind of tighten up the rest of it, but that's pretty much how it goes. I mean, I like, you can always make it a little bit of a, a more taunt uh, fixing, but see, you got, you got these guy lines and the two poles and they're stretched tight across each of these corners. It's got a tent stake, nice boot, always helps to shove them in the frozen ground. And then this is one of the features. We got this flap here. This is your entryway right here where you got it like a, a flap. You can open this up or you can zip it closed here. You got this zipper option. It's pretty weather tight. I've used it in some snow. Inside we can look around and uh, yeah, basically it's uh Pretty much just a one person tent. Two trekking poles, little flap here, vestibule for your clothing and such. And then some stakes on all of these corners. And yeah, that's, that's the tent. To take it down, you basically do everything I did to set it up, just in reverse. Thanks for watching, folks. I'm <laughs> sorry.